Hey there. I'm gonna tell you about the time that we moved into this house and found out that something had moved in right before we did. We've lived in houses before that had yards, but it's been a few years, so we were excited to have grass and plants around us again. We were excited to embrace nature. I went and got some bird seed, we got some bird feeders and hung them up in the trees and we sat back and waited. I was excited to get my cameras unpacked and start filming the wildlife, but I didn't realize how fast I was going to have to do it. After moving, I noticed that I would walk around the yard and every time I walked by a certain tree, a hummingbird would fly right by my head and it would be very close. I would duck, it freaked me out. It happened twice before I noticed that something was strange about that spot in the tree. I checked the tree the day after moving and I found a hummingbird nest. After a little bit of standing on my tiptoes, then grabbing a stepladder and climbing up to see what was inside, I found out that there were uh, two eggs inside the nest. Hello, this is future Chris. Just letting you know that that's actually one egg and one hatched chick. And then not only were there one. two eggs inside the nest, but the nest and the eggs were all in eyesight of the sliding glass door to our office. I quickly went inside and I set up my camera on a tripod and I pulled the curtains and I waited and sure enough, mama showed up. So that night I let my camera record a little bit and I got a lot of mama sitting in the nest. So the next morning, uh, to my surprise, I went back to the nest to double check that I had only seen two eggs because I learned that hummingbirds can either lay one, two, or even three eggs. So I wanted to make sure I didn't miss any. But when I went to check on them that morning, there were no eggs inside because instead there were two baby chicks. Rachel and I named the babies Thumbelina and Hummer. And then the mom's name is Tiny Dancer because every time after she feeds the babies, she sits on them and does a little wiggle butt dance um, before she settles in for a while and keeps them warm. So our house is situated on a rectangular lot where the house is in the back and there are a lot of walking paths surrounding the house and towards the front in the garden. I discovered that there were a lot of old squirrels nests. They were no longer inhabited, probably because we just moved in. The hummingbird nest was situated right outside the office window towards the back of the house. I also found out that there is a nest of sparrows in the front. So these are actually Buick's wrens, and they are pocket-sized birds. They're cute little fluff balls that like to hop around and find cracks or crevices to build their nest in. So these guys found a vase in our front yard. I made a video about it if you want to check it out. With my camera set up and my lens is extended all the way, I was ready to capture all of this rapidly vibrating family's growth. Oh. In one week, I was going to be starting a TV show that was going to be shooting for 10 days straight. So I wasn't going to be able to record much of the family during that time. So knowing what I was getting into, I did some research to see what I might be missing out on. I didn't look too much into egg incubation because I missed out on that part, but I did see that it takes about 20 days from the last egg laid. So Tiny Dancer must have been cooking her chicks since April 4th because they hatched on the night of April 25th, the day after moving. From hatching, Tiny Dancer would still smush her babies to keep them warm and feeding was insane. Not only did she have to feed herself, but she had to feed the babies about every 20 to 40 minutes. And I should know, 
After filming all of this footage, I compiled it together in some documents and figured out when these birds were eating and when they were sleeping, at least when I was filming. The routine was always the same. She would leave her nest, and then after about 20 minutes or so, 20 to 40 minutes, she would return vomit into the baby's mouths, sit down for a while, dance, and this process just repeated for days. Over that week, I watched them grow fast. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Over the course of these next couple days, I actually got a lot of feeding. Ooh. Stabbed him. Anyways, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I got a lot of feeding on tape. Here's just a few of the good ones. Oh, he's just moving around. What's he doing? Now put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Tiny Dancers. Nest. So I am really smart and found a spot to mount my camera. Hummingbirds only need to grow in the nest about three to four weeks before they can take flight, never to return. They'd be all grown up. Oh, <laughs> 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 
So from the first time I saw Tiny Dancer feed Thumbelina and Hummer, where I could see Tiny Dancer's beak through their necks, they grow very fast. I started to really notice it when their tiny little feathers started poking out. What does that even say? They looked like pokey little babies. Now that they're gone, I walk around the yard a lot, and when I see a hummingbird, I always wonder, is that Thumbelina, Hummer, or Tiny Dancer? It's very hard to tell, but if you sit around long enough in the yard and wait, you can hear them chirp up and hum by. You sneaky snake. Oh shit. And if you're fast enough, you can see where they land, and you can uh, take a peek give it your best shot to see if it's one of them. Please enjoy the rest of this video. It's going to be just a lot of uh, the Hummers growing up. But uh, if you uh, enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.